All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Chakudash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles that do well overseeing the tabernacle of David, which are the elders and the apostles of a great millstone. Greetings and salutations to you, Akim, upon the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, in both truth and in sincerity. All right. This is a quick lesson. Um, in regarding of Brother E, you know, in which in all detail, you know, would be the self-proclaimed white man, Esau, Edom. In regarding to prophecy, and this inspired, based upon the scholar, I believe, David Guzik, if I'm not mistaken, a prominent blue letter, uh, biblical a Christian scholar uh, who has had some heretical notions to be pronounced from his mouth in the recent days and in the blue letter as well. When you, when you talk about prophecy, now when, when you're dealing with certain scriptures of historical legitimacy of what took place in the past and, you know, things of that nature, yeah, he'll speak well of it. But when you start talking about Esau, Edom, uh, biblical prophecy, and, um, you know, ultimately what's taking place right now and how that coincides with the scripture for Esau, Edom, him and the other scholars don't want to address it accordingly. But we will ad address it accordingly because we have been given the spirit of prophecy, the men of the Lord. Um, this, is, this is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1. Book of Obadiah, chapter one. Of course, it's one, only one chapter. Let's start at verse one. It says, the vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, concerning Edom. So we have an understanding of this context um, that this is written concerning the Edomites. All right. Let's go, uh, let's go down to verse three. It says, the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Right, because they're arrogant, they're very proud and boastful, uh, partially due to the iconoclasm, which in, they have distorted the images and the actual history and the legitimacy of who the sons of Jacob are and who they are with their pseudoscience. Um, it says, The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, you know, and the cliffs of the rock, which is, of course, we know Esau, Edom, or we know. Caucasian means cave dweller, but this also is going into their strongholds. It's going into their uh, prominent positions in society where they feel very lofty and feel secure because if you're in a rock, if you're in a fortress, you're in a, a secure place, so it seems. That's why when you continue to read, it says, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? All right. So those who are, you know, dwells in the cliffs of the rock, you know, they, they feel very secure. You know, because of their technology, their science, um, their military power, their industry, so on and so forth. A propaganda machine, you know, that's all going to their fortress, their lies, all right? And because what the mystery of iniquity, they, they, they uphold themselves based upon the lies in which they perpetuated and taught to the planet Earth, all right? This is... Let's go down. Verse 6, it says, How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Right, because we searched the things of Esau out. Who? Starting with the, um, of course, the elders. Um, yeah, of course, uh, high priest Abba Bivens. All right, on down to King Masha. Uh, high priest Jaiqua, high priest Arya, you know, going down to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. All right. Th these are the men that have put the East Edomites on the forefront as far as who they are biblically, or the, the so-called white man, who he is being Esau. No other religion, no other institution, no other organization even speaks on Esau. We're the only one who speaks on And this is a prominent figure in biblical prophecy. Why is nobody speaking on such a prominent figure? You know, in the Zondervan, when you go, when you uh, look up 
I believe Esau Edomites. It says um, uh, a nation that holds fit. As a matter of fact, if I may, because my Zondervan's in the other room, I'm gonna try to look it up real quick. Esau Edomites. Let's see if I can Let's go to Edomite. No, I'm not going to try to make this too long. But I just wanted to bring forth the points showing who the... And see why when I type in Edomite, they have the red the red squiggly line underneath it as if this is some incorrect English. Because these people are the devil, bro. You, you're trying to hide this truth, man. You can't hide it. You cannot hide it. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. I know the Zondervan gets straight to the point. This is the Bible study tools. Um, Edomites, the land, a line. Let's see here. It's a lot of meat on here. Uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to pick through it. Dealing with the, the, gene, uh, the genealogy of Esau. Um, let's see here. Which well, this is all good information, but it's not going into prophecy. The Zondervan speaks of the prophecy of Esau Edom. All right. And um, for time's sake, I'm not going to go to it. But um, let's see. It says, I'm going to continue to read. It says, this is verse 8. It says, Shall I not in that day, saith Yahweh, even destroy in that day? Showing that this is a prophetic uh, uh, speech. This is prophetic speech. It says, In that day, saith Yahweh, even destroy the wise man out of Edom and understanding out of of the Mount of Esau, all right? And you have, I believe if I'm not mistaken, you have Vocab Malone, which this guy's in the dark right now, <laughs> out of his own words, but uh, who said, I believe he said the Maccabees exterminated the Edomites. Um, well, I'm sorry, sir, you, you, you do err not knowing the scriptures. How so when you have Herod who reigned as the king of Israel, I um, mean, who was placed there, the Herodian dynasty, who was placed there by the Roman Empire, which were Edomites. And Herod himself was an Edomite. As a matter of fact, when you type in Herod on the Google, it'll say, uh, let's see, uh, let's see if we can get that. There we go. Herod. You type in Herod in the Google. They've been changing stuff. Right. Ooh, Anti Antipater. This is beautiful. Herod, who is the father of Herod. All right. And I can't switch it up. I typically don't do videos in this mannerism. But as you can see here, all right, Antipater, the Idumian. And Idumian is the Greek way of saying Edom. All right, and he is the father of Herod, or in the founder of the Herod Herodian dynasty, as you can see before you. All right, and this took place. The, these people succeeded. All right, they succeeded um, the uh, Hasmonean dynasty. So how so? You know, showing you guys hypocrisy. All right. And likewise, Paul spoke of the Edomites. Paul spoke of Esau, all right? And this took place after um, the Hasmonean dynasty as well, okay? But I'm going to continue to read in the book of Obadiah. It says, it 
It says, Shall I not in that day saith Yahweh even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau and the wise men of Edom are the Chaldees, who you consider the Chaldees. And Chaldees essentially is not a nation or a race of people, but it's, it means a, a priest, a sorcerer, a witchcraft, warlocks. All right. And this is modern Babylon, a mystery Babylon. Um, and the people who rule it are the Chaldees, such as your um, international bankers, your scientists, um, your top prominent politicians. Um, <clears throat> Uh, these people, these religious figures, uh, these top Edomite religious figures, all right, these are the wise men of Edom. All right. Let's see here. It says, verse 9, it says, in the, it says, And thy mighty men, O T men, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. All right, so the scripture prophetically says every one of the house of Esau is going to be cut off by slaughter. This is biblical prophecy. When does this ever happen? When is the entire nation of Edom being cut off? Well, we know Edom is not a small nation. Edom is a very prominent nation. This nation was said to control, was said to, that in, in prophecy, according to the book of Genesis, that they will rule the whole earth with the sword. As a matter of fact, let's get that. Go to the book of Genesis, the 20, the blessing of Esau from Isaac. Esau mourn of, <laughs> let's see. All right, that's the blessing of Jacob. All right, here's the blessing of Esau. It says, um, this is the book of Genesis, chapter 27, verse 34, excuse me, verse 36, excuse me, verse 37. <clears throat> and Isaac answered and said unto Esau, behold, behold, I have made him thy Lord and all his brethren have I given to him for servants and with corn and wine have I sustained him and what shall I do now unto thee my son and he's speaking to Esau because this is what the Lord or this is what Isaac blessed Jacob with now we're about to get into Esau's blessing verse 38 and Esau said unto his father has thou but one blessing my father bless me even me also O my father and Esau lift up his voice and wept. <laughs> Verse 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling, meaning his, in his habitation, thy dwelling, shall be the fatness of the earth. And fatness means the abundance, the, the fulfillment, the, uh, the richest uh, portions of the earth. All right, I'm pretty sure if you go into that Hebrew term, fatness uh, will be uh, uh, essentially meaning oil. All right, and what is this this devil? He he's fucking crazy over oil. His whole economic system right now is based upon what OPEC. All right, which is back in the U.S. dollar with um oil. All right, you know, and, and what he he lives in all the uh, the most fruitful and abundant. Uh, land masses he cut such as Turkey because you Turks you Ottoman Turks you, you descendants of the Seljuk you're nothing but Khazars all right the the Seljuk the man Seljuk who d founded the Seljuk Empire he was a general of the Khazarian Empire he was an Edomite all right he was a so-called Jew and so all you Ottoman Turks claiming to be Muslims now you nothing but Khazars all right so they 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 inhabit that Turkey, the uh, Byzantium, that beautiful landmass, that that strategically important landmass. They control uh, uh, the land of Jordan. Those those Jordanians are Edomites. Uh, they control the land the the, the ruling family of uh, the the Saudi household are Edomites. 
all right, they, they rule over the, Arab, the Arabian Peninsula. They intermarried with Arabs. Those are Edomites, though. The people who sit on those power seats are Edomites. They're Turks. When you look into the um, crown prince, a uh, part of it, uh, his, in his name, um, uh, uh, Turkey is in his name because he's a Turk. All right. Um, where else? You have uh, the rulers of the Caucasus. All right. All of that. All of these people, you know, and throughout the um, the uh, Arabian and the Fertile Crescent Peninsula, all right, Syria. Uh, Assad, Assad is an Edomite. It's not, he's not an Arab. He's not an Ishmaelite. He's an Edomite. Okay, Russia, America, all right, Europe, Switzerland, all that is ruled by Edomites. All right? And even if they don't directly inhabit, you know, this, you know, you, you go back to the colonial days and so on and so forth, these Edomites have inhabited and ruled everywhere, man. All right? So that's them having what? The fatness of the earth. All right. It doesn't say anything about Japheth. These people say he, he, so called white man is Japheth. What tribe? He's not Japheth, you liars. All right. You know, the, the, the Japhites are the uh, Etruscans, the Minoans, the ancient Romans. Um, but those people, the Polynesians, the Hawaiians. Um, as a matter of fact, when you look at the uh, wardrobes, the ancient wardrobes uh, of the. Um, I think uh, Etruscans, or may I say the, um, if I'm not mistaken, it might be the Polynesians, who uh, they have the same wardrobe as the ancient Romans. They have the headpiece, the red cape, because they are the real Romans, man. All right, Esau came in there and took over Rome. He took over Greece. That's why in the book of uh, the Apocrypha, I'm going to grab that. So we got the point on that. Matter of fact, let me finish this real quick, make sure I get all that. He said, thy dwelling should be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live. And how has Esau Edom conquered this earth? Through the sword. All right. It says, and by thy sword shalt thou live and shall serve thy brother. All right. And so he's going to, he's going to serve us, man. Esau Edom is going to serve us. And it shall come to pass when thou shall have the dominion that thou shall break his yoke from off thy neck. And I was speaking during the time of, of David, after um, David had passed and Solomon, the, the Edomites rebelled, but we're going to actually um, rule them again, all right, in the kingdom of heaven, all right? So, let's go to, um, let me see how much time I've been going. Um, let's see here. But this this can turn into something extensive. So, um, I just want to trim it down. Let me finish it up in Obadiah real quick. Let's go down to verse 17. Matter of fact, let's go to 16. It says, Obadiah verse 16, for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, meaning you devoured uh, the Israelites, you and the other heathens, pursuant to verse, verse 15, it says, so shall all the heathen drink continually, yet yeah, they shall drink and, and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. So the Edomites are going to be here when the Israelites or Mount Zion, as it poetically says, will be delivered. And who's to deliver the Israelites? The Messiah, Yahusha. So that means, and has the Israelites been delivered? Has, has righteousness established on the face of the earth? Has, has New Jerusalem from heaven come down? Has the walls that made of Am Am Achalama, Amethyst, you know, the, you know, Streets pay for go. You go to Tel Aviv. All I see is gay parades, in in archaeological diggings where even they question, but they supposed to be the the Jews. All right. You see, this is what I'm talking about, man. All right. And you guys try to hold some form of legitimacy. Absolutely illegitimate, man. Absolutely. All right. So it says. It says, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness in the house of Jacob. 
Um, excuse me, but, excuse me, start that from the top. It says, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. So it says that the Israelites are going to possess the possessions of the heathens, including the Edomites. What possessions do the, the Israelites um, have? We don't have anything. We're destitute. We're poor. You know, that's why what Bill Gates and all these other de degenerates, these other Edomites say, you know, we have to help the, the blacks, Hispanic, the under the underprivileged, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, which he's naming the 12 tribes of Israel. But they don't want to help us. They want to exterminate us. It's all right. We understand. You're going to pay for it. That's why we're reading the book. Over. This is You see what's written in the book of Obadiah? This is going to happen because of what you're trying to do right now. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's not your fault. It's just how the Lord created you. All right. So this is um, Ezra's, second Ezra's. So I only planned out to bring, I only planned to bring three scriptures out. You know, it is what it is. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 6. 2nd Ezra chapter 6 verse 56. Excuse me, verse 54. It says, And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord over all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people whom thou hast chosen, which are the Israelites. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes, made the world for the sakes of who? The sons of Jacob, his chosen, those who he delivered from the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage. Verse 56, as for the other people, which is pursuant to the heathens that was spoken of in the book of Obadiah, including the Edomites, the self-proclaimed white race. It says, as for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. But be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, Thy only begotten and thy fervent lover are given into their hands. Now, here's the point. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? So we don't possess an inheritance with the world right now because Yahweh Shai has not yet come. Showing you Esau has not yet been done away and Esau Edom is still on the earth, man. And he's wrecking havoc. He has nuclear capabilities. He's he's spreading these diseases. He's causing false flags. He's overthrowing governments. He's injecting he's injecting people with AIDS and saying that we're gonna you know we're gonna you know throughout you know going I believe in the eighties. Uh, that's how he actually spread AIDS. The British and American government injecting people with um, AIDS through via uh, via vaccines. All right. Uh, it's saying that they're trying to deal with smallpox in, um, I believe, Sierra Leone and Brazil. And what do you think this nigga is doing right now with this the COVID bullshit? You people are idiots to, to follow Esau either, man. You going you gonna to learn that you can't trust this damn devil, man. Even his own, he he, he coming to kill his own people. You lower level, regular white people, your, your, your leaders, man, they don't give a fuck. They going to kill you too, you know? And that's what we see. That's what we see taking place right now. All right, because his agenda is to depopulate the undesirables. He he wants total control, but that he shall not get. All right. So um, I believe that was you know that was pretty uh, edifying. I don't want to make this too long. I right? possibly might do a part two later on. Uh, but Lord willing, this lesson was edifying in regarding of Esau Edom. All right, I'm giving all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, uh, excuse me, Bashem, Rachakodash, the abundance of the elders, uh, and the apostles of Great Millstone. All right, and salutations to you, Akim. Shalom, and keep the faith.